Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to my channel, Creative Grandma. Today's crochet tutorial is for the Easy Shell Dishcloth. This is such a fun pattern and it's only eight rounds. So you can make these up pretty quickly and several in a day. Now I have three samples to show you, but I wanna remind everybody with the holidays coming up, these would look gorgeous using Christmas colors. So this is my first sample using white, yellow, and a multicolor. My second sample I made using white, a darker blue, a solid blue, and then a multicolor that had that blue mixed in with it. So that was my second sample. And then my third sample I made using with white. I used pink and then I used a multi-color. So you can use whichever colors you wish. So let me tell you exactly what you need to make today's project. So for our project today, I'm using Premier's Home Cotton. This is 85% recycled cotton, 15% polyester, and I use this cotton a lot in my kitchen and bath designs. Now the solid colors come in 131 yards, 102 meters, 2.65 ounces, and 75 grams. The prints and the stripes come in 96 yards, 88 meters, 1.94 ounces or 55 grams. Now this is a number four medium weight cotton yarn. So if you're using a different cotton, make sure you're using a four medium weight cotton. This is machine wash, tumble dry low. You're going to need white as your high contrasting color or whatever color you want to use as a contrasting color. So here is one of the patterns where this is where I'm using the white and then you're going to pick two other colors that you want in your dishcloth. So just pick whichever colors you wish. Now I am using white and you're going to need about one ounce or less of three different colors. So about one ounce or less of white. Now this one is Robin Egg Speckle. This is color 4450 and it had this blue going through it. So what I decided to do was pick a blue that was close to the blue in this one. And this is Cornflower Blue. This is color 38-11 Cornflower Blue. So again, you can see how I'm trying to mix those colors. So this color coordinates with this color. And then the white is my high contrasting color. So again, pick the three colors that you prefer. And I'll have a link that will go directly to Premier Home Cotton. And you can view all the beautiful colorways they have available. You're also going to need a size H8 or five millimeter crochet hook to make your project. So we're going to start with the white. So grab your white, grab your hook, and let's get our dishcloth started. To begin, I already have my yarn attached to my hook and I just used a double knot. Now you can use your magic ring or magic circle or whatever it's called. I don't use that because this is how my gram taught me and this is just the way I do it. But there is easier ways. We're going to begin and we're going to chain four. Yarn over, pull through the loop on your hook and that creates your first chain. The loop on your hook does not count as a chain. That's one two, three, and four. Now we're going to work nine double crochet into that fourth chain from hook. You're going to skip one, two, three chains, yarn over, go into the fourth chain from hook or the very last chain, work nine double crochet. You're going to yarn over, pull back through that chain. You have three loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. That's how you make a double crochet. Now we're going to work eight more double crochet into that same chain. Yarn over, insert into that same chain. Yarn over, pull back through that chain. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made two of the nine double crochet double crochet back into the center of that same chain.
that is three of nine. Double crochet back into that same chain. All your stitches are worked into that same fourth chain. So I have four of the nine double crochet made. So go ahead and work five more double crochet into that same chain and I'll meet you when I get my five double crochets made. I just got done working my last double crochet. I'm going to take my hook out. You're going to have your chain three, which counts as the first double crochet, and then you should have nine additional double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And now we're just going to join our round together in the top of that beginning chain three. Count up one, two, three, insert your hook into the top of that chain, and then slip stitch through that chain and through the loop on your hook. Round one is finished. We're done with our white, so I'm just going to fasten off. When I fasten off, I like to leave that longer length just because I use a yarn needle and it gives me that extra amount of yarn to weave in. I chain two, one, two, pull my hook up, yarn out, grab, pinch, and pull down. And this creates a secure knot. So now I'm going to switch to my solid blue color, the cornflower blue, and we'll start round two. So I have my blue and I'm going to leave about a six to eight inch length. Now when I join my yarn in this manner, you have to make sure that you knot and weave this in on the wrong side of your dishcloth. So I'm just going under the top two loops of this first stitch where I joined, and it might be tight because I have a knot here. Just get your hook under those top two loops, and I'm just going to pull my new color through. And this is why I say you must knot this on the back of your work. Now I'm going to leave my ends hang and weave them in when I'm all done, just for the purpose of the video. We're going to begin and we're going to chain one. We're going to work two half double crochet in each stitch around. You're going to yarn over, insert back into that same beginning stitch, and again, the first stitch is going to be tight. Yarn over, pull back through that stitch. You have three loops. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. And we need to do that one more time into the same stitch. Yarn over, insert back into that same stitch, and again that first stitch is going to be a little tight. Yarn over and pull back through that stitch. You have three loops. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. So now we're going to go to the easier stitches where they're a little more open. You're going to yarn over, insert under the top two loops of that next stitch, and work two half double crochets. One, and two. Yarn over, insert under the top two loops of the next stitch, work two half double crochets. One, and two. I'll show you one more time. You're going to yarn over, insert under the top two loops of the very next stitch, and work two half double crochets. One, and two. So go ahead and continue and work two half double crochets in each stitch around, and I'll meet you at the end of round two. I'm over at the end of round two. You should have two half double crochet in each stitch around, or a total of 20 half double crochet stitches. To end the round, we're going to go up to the top of that first half double crochet stitch, insert under the top two loops, yarn over, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. Round two is finished. So we're done with the blue, so I'm just going to fasten off. 
And again, when I fasten off, I chain two, but make sure that you double count your stitches before you do this, or you're going to have to cut your yarn because this really secures your end. Pull your yarn out, grab, pinch, and pull down. And again, it creates a secure knot. Now this is a very hard knot to get out and that's why I use it because I really like my work to stay together. So round two is finished. Now I'm going to switch to my third color, the Robin's Egg Speckle, and we're going to begin round three. Now for round three, we're going to be working in between each set of two half double crochet stitches. We're going to go right in between the stitches. So again, I have my speckled yarn. I'm going back up to where I fastened off and these are our first two half double crochet stitches. So what we're going to do is we're going to skip the first two half double crochet, insert your hook between the first group and the second half double crochet group right between those two sets of stitches and then pull your new color through and you're going to chain one we're going to work three half double crochet all into the same space yarn over insert from front to back through that same space work your half double crochet that's one half double crochet back into that same space that's two half double crochet back into that same space and that's three so now we're going to skip this next two half double crochet group and you're going into this space between the skip two stitches and the next two half double crochet group right into that space you're going to work three half double crochets one, two, and three. You're going to skip the next two double crochet group. You're going to yarn over and you're going to insert in between the next two, two half double crochet groups right into that space between those group of stitches. Work three half double crochets. One, two, and three. I'll show you one more time. You're going to yarn over, insert between the next two, two half double crochet groups right into that space between those two groups of stitches. Work three half double crochets. One, two, and three. And that's all there is to round three. So go ahead and continue. You're going to work three half double crochet between the next two half double crochet groups, and you're just going to repeat that around. I'll meet you at the end of round three. I'm over at the end of round three. When you look at your work, you're going to have three half double crochet in between each two half double crochet group around, and you're going to have 10 sets of three double crochet groups for a total of 30 half double crochet around. So now we're going to come over and we're going to join under the top two loops of that first half double crochet stitch insert under the top two loops, yarn over, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. Round three is finished. So again, I'm just going to fasten off, double check your stitch count before you fasten off. I'm going to leave a little bit longer length. I chain two, one, two, pull my hook up, yarn out, grab, pinch, pull down, and it creates a secure knot. And again, all my ends will be weaved in on the back when I'm all finished. So now we're going to switch back to our white. So grab your white and let's begin round four. So I have my white and again, I'm gonna leave about a six inch length. This is where we fastened off. So I'm just going to skip my first three half double crochet group 
and I'm going to insert my hook right between the first group and the second group. I'm just going to pull my new color through and then we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. This beginning chain three will count as our first double crochet. You're going to double crochet back into that same space, yarn over, insert into that same space. You're going to yarn over and pull back through. You have three loops, yarn over, pull through two loops only, yarn over and pull through two loops. That's how you do a double crochet. You're going to chain two, one, two, and now we're going to work two more double crochet back into the same space. Yarn over, insert into that same space, work two double crochets. One, and two. So we're making a shell stitch. The chain three counts as the first double crochet, then you worked a double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet. So now the repeat for this round, let's begin. Yarn over, you're going to insert between the next two, three double crochet groups right into that space and work two double crochets. One, yarn over, insert back into that space, work your second double crochet. You're going to chain two. Yarn over, insert back into that same space, work two double crochets. One. And two. Your shell stitch is made. Let's do it again. You're going to yarn over. You're going to insert your hook between the next two groups right into that space work two double crochets. One, and two. You're going to chain two, yarn over, insert back into that same space, work two double crochets. One, and two. Your shell stitch is made. I'll show you one more time. You're going to yarn over, insert your hook between the next two groups right into that space, insert your hook, work two double crochets. One, and two. You're going to chain two. Yarn over, insert back into that same space, work two double crochets. One, and two. Your shell stitch is made. So go ahead and continue. You're going to work two double crochet, a chain two, and two double crochet between each three group around, and I'll meet you at the end of round four. I'm over at the end of round four. I just worked my last shell stitch and you should have one shell stitch between each group around. So you should have a total of 10 shell stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So now I'm done with the white. So I'm just going to come up and join in the top of the beginning chain three, count up one, two, three, Insert your hook into the top of that chain, yarn over, pull through that chain, and pull through the loop on your hook. So I'm just going to fasten off. Again, I chain two, lift my hook up, yarn out, grab, pinch, and pull down. So now I'm going to switch to my blue. So grab your next color and let's begin round five. For round five, I'm going to leave about a six inch length and I'm going over to my beginning chain two space. I'm just going to insert my hook and pull my new color through. Now just remember when you're done with your dishcloth to knot this end before you weave it in to make that nice and secure or your dishcloth may come apart. You're going to begin and you're going to chain three. One, two, three. This beginning chain three counts as the first double crochet. 
you're going to double crochet back into that same chain two space chain two then we're going to work two more double crochet back into that same chain two space one and two and then I'm just going to pull this end get it out of the way now we're going to work a front post double crochet around this next stitch you're going to yarn over bring your hook to the front of your work insert from front to back and then back to front you're just going underneath the post of that stitch and then you're going to work a double crochet yarn over pull back through underneath that stitch you have three loops yarn over pull through two loops only yarn over and pull through two loops you just made your front post double crochet you're going to skip the next two stitches one two and we're going to work a front post double crochet around this next stitch yarn over again you're skipping those next two stitches insert from front to back around the post of the next stitch and then from back to front you're just going underneath the post of that stitch yarn over pull back underneath the post you have three loops yarn over pull through two loops yarn over and pull through two loops you just made your front post double crochet now we're going to start the repeat and we're going to work from our shell stitch over to this last front post double crochet and we're going to repeat that around so let me get you started on the repeat you're going to yarn over insert into the next chain two space and work two double crochets one and two you're going to chain two yarn over insert back into that same chain two space work two double crochets one and two you're going to yarn over you're going to insert your hook from front to back back to front around the post of this next stitch yarn over bring back underneath the post of that stitch you have three loops yarn over pull through two loops yarn over and pull through two loops you just made your front post double crochet you're going to yarn over skip the next two stitches insert from front to back around the post of the next stitch and then bring your hook from the back to the front so your hook is underneath the post of the stitch yarn over pull through and around the post of that stitch you have three loops yarn over pull through two loops yarn over and pull through two loops and that is the end of the repeat so you can see we have a shell stitch in the center of the chain two space of each shell and then we have a front post double crochet on each side of that shell stitch skipping those two stitches in between so let's do the repeat again you're going to yarn over insert into the next chain two space work two double crochets one and two you're going to chain two yarn over insert back into that same space work two double crochets one and two yarn over insert from front to back back to front around the post of this next stitch yarn over pull underneath and around the post of that stitch you have three loops yarn over pull through two loops only yarn over and pull through two loops yarn over skip the next two stitches insert from front to back back to front around the next stitch yarn over pull back through and underneath the post yarn over pull through two loops yarn over and pull through two loops and that is the end of the repeat so i'll show you one more time you're going to yarn over insert into that next chain two space work two double crochets one 
and two. You're going to chain two, yarn over, insert back into that chain two space, work two double crochets. One, and two. You're going to yarn over the hook, bring your hook to the front of your work, insert from front to back, back to front, around the post of the very next stitch, yarn over, pull underneath the post of that stitch, you have three loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two loops. You're going to yarn over, skip the next two stitches, insert from front to back, back to front, around that next stitch, yarn over, pull underneath the post of that stitch, you have three loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two loops. And that is the end of the repeat. So if you need help, just click on the video and you're going to repeat that around and you're going to end with your last front post double crochet into this stitch right here before your first shell stitch right in that stitch is where you end your repeat so again go ahead and click back on the video if you need additional help continue around and i'll meet you at the end of round five i'm over at the end of round five i still have part of my repeat to do but i thought i'd end the round with you I worked my shell stitch of two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet into the last chain two space of the last shell. Now we're going to work a front post double crochet around that next stitch. We're going to skip those next two stitches and work a front post double crochet around that next stitch. And then to end the round, we're going to join with a slip stitch in the top of that beginning chain three. Now your first chain's clear down here, so that's one, two, three. Insert your hook into that chain, yarn over, pull through that chain, and pull through the loop on your hook. So I'm just going to go ahead and fasten off my blue. I chain two, pull my hook up, yarn out, grab a pinch, and pull down. So now we're going to switch back to our white. So grab your white and let's begin round six. I have my white and again, I'm gonna leave about a six inch length. I'm going up to where I fastened off right here. And again, I'm leaving my ends hang until my dishcloth is done. We're gonna start in the chain two space of that first shell stitch. Insert your hook from front to back into the chain two space and just pull your new color through. So I want to remind everyone to make sure you knot your yarn when you weave in your ends. We're going to begin with a chain three. One, two, and three. This beginning chain three will count as our first double crochet. We're going to work two more double crochet into this same chain two space. Yarn over, insert into the chain two space, work two double crochets. One, and two. We're going to chain two and then back into the same chain two space we're going to work three double crochet. Yarn over, insert into that same chain two space, work three double crochet. One, two, and three. So when you look at your work, you're going to have your beginning chain three, which counts as the first double crochet, two double crochet, a chain two, and three double crochet all into that first chain two space. We're going to skip the next two stitches, and then we're going to front post double crochet two together across the next two stitches. So let me show you how that's done. You're going to yarn over, you're going to skip the next two stitches, insert your hook from front to back, back to front around the post of that next stitch, yarn over, pull underneath that stitch, you have three loops, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You have two loops on your hook and they remain on your hook. You're going to yarn over, 
insert from front to back, back to front, around the post of that next stitch, yarn over and pull underneath and around the post of that stitch, you have four loops, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You worked your two front post double crochet, leaving the last part of the stitch unworked. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Your front post two together is made. So you're taking two stitches and making it one. Now you're going to skip the next two stitches and you're going to start your repeat into the top of that chain two space of the next shell stitch. So let's go ahead and start the repeat. You're going to yarn over, insert into the next chain two space of the next shell stitch, work three double crochets. One, two, and three. You're going to chain two, one, two, yarn over, insert back into that same chain two space, and work three double crochet. One, two, and three. You're going to yarn over, you're going to skip the next two stitches, insert your hook from front to back, back to front, underneath the post of that next stitch, yarn over, pull underneath and around the post of that stitch, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You have two loops on your hook and they remain on your hook. Yarn over, insert from front to back, back to front, around the post of that next stitch, yarn over and pull underneath and around that stitch. You have four loops, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. You just made a front post two together, taking two stitches and turning it into one. Now you're going to skip the next two stitches and that is the end of the repeat. So let's do the repeat again. You're going to yarn over, insert into the next chain two space and work three double crochets. One, two, and three. You're going to chain two, yarn over, insert back into that same chain two space and work three double crochets. One, two, and three. Your shell stitch is made. You work three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet into the chain two space of that shell stitch. You're going to skip the next two stitches, yarn over, insert from front to back, back to front, around the post of that next stitch, yarn over, pull underneath and around the post of that stitch. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You have two loops on your hook and they remain on your hook. You're going to yarn over, insert from front to back, back to front, you're going underneath the post of that stitch. Yarn over, pull underneath and around the stitch. You have four loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops only. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. You're going to skip the next two stitches and then you're going to do your repeat again. So if you need additional help, just click back on the video. Start where you're working your three double crochet, a chain two and three double crochet into that next chain two space of that next shell stitch. Then you're going to skip the next two stitches and work a front post double crochet two together across the next two stitches and then skip the next two stitches and start your repeat. Again, if you need additional help, just click back on the video of where we're starting our shell stitch in the chain two space until you work this stitch and just repeat that around and I'll meet you at the end of round six. 
I'm over at the end of round six. This is what your dishcloth should look like. You ended your repeat with your shell stitch in the center of the shell and then your front post double crochet two together. So you're going to have two stitches remaining and we're going to skip those two stitches and you're going to join in the top of that beginning chain three. Count up one, two, three, insert your hook into the top of that chain, yarn over, pull through that chain and pull through the loop on your hook. Round six is finished. I'm done with the white so we're going to fasten off our white and again it's nicer to have a little bit longer length because I use a yarn needle which makes it easier to weave in those ends. I chain two, lift my hook up, yarn out, grab, pinch, pull down, and it creates a secure knot. And then you're going to weave this in over on the back going through your stitches and then back cross a second time. And if you have enough yarn, go back through even a third time. So now we have two rounds to go. So now I'm going to switch back to our multicolor here. So grab your next color and we'll begin round seven. So I have my next color, which is the multicolor, and I'm going up to where I fastened off and I'm going to start in the chain two space. I'm just going to pull my new color through. And again, remember to knot this when you're all done before you weave in your ends so you have a nice secure join. We're going to begin and we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. We're going to work six more double crochet into this same chain two space. Yarn over, insert back into that same chain two space and work six double crochet. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So when you look at your work, you're going to have your beginning chain three, which counts as your first double crochet, and then six more double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, for a total of seven double crochet stitches. You're going to skip the next three stitches and single crochet in the top of this front post double crochet two together right into the top of that stitch. Work one single crochet. You're going to skip the next three stitches and now we're going to start our repeat in the chain two space of the next shell stitch. So let's begin. You're going to yarn over, insert into the chain two space of the next shell stitch and work seven double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And again, when you look at your work, you should have a total of seven double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all in the chain two space of that shell stitch. You're going to skip the next three double crochet and into the next stitch, which is that front post double crochet two together right into the top of that stitch work one single crochet. You're going to skip the next three stitches and that is the end of the repeat. Let's do it one more time. You're going to yarn over, insert into the next chain two space, work seven double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. You're going to skip the next three stitches 
and into the next stitch, which is that front post double crochet two together, right into the top of that stitch, work one single crochet. You're going to skip the next three stitches and start the repeat in the next chain two space of this next shell stitch. So go ahead and if you need additional help, click back on the video. You're going to work seven double crochet into the chain two space of the next shell stitch and then one single crochet into the top of that double crochet two together. You're going to repeat that around and I'll meet you at the end of round seven. I'm over at the end of round seven. When you look at your work, you're going to have seven double crochet in the center of each shell stitch and one single crochet right in the top of those front post double crochet two together. So now since we're over at the end of round seven, we're just going to join. You finished your last repeat with the seven double crochet into the last chain two space and then a single crochet into the top of those front post double crochet two together. So we're skipping the last three stitches and we're going to join in the top of this beginning chain three. Count up one, two, three, insert into the top of that chain, yarn over, pull through that chain and pull through the loop on your hook. So we have one round to go and we're just going to add a subtle edging to give our dishcloth a little character. So let's begin round eight, our last and final round. We're going to begin and we're going to chain one. You're going to skip that first stitch, insert under the top two loops of the very next stitch and slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through that stitch and pull through the loop on your hook. You're going to chain one and slip stitch into the next stitch. Make sure you're going under the top two loops and work your slip stitch. Chain one and slip stitch into the next stitch. Chain one, insert into the top of the next stitch and slip stitch. Let's do it again. Chain one, insert into the top of the next stitch and slip stitch. Chain one, insert into the next stitch and slip stitch. So go ahead and continue and chain one, slip stitch into the next stitch. Chain one, slip stitch into the next stitch and you can see how it puts this beautiful edging on our dishcloth. So if you need help, just click back on the video. Again, chain one and slip stitch into the next stitch. Repeat that around and I'll meet you at the end of round eight. I'm over at the end of round eight. This is what your work should look like. You chained one and slip stitched in the next stitch and you repeated that around for this beautiful subtle edging. So now to end the round, you're going to come over and you're going to have what looks like a stitch, but this is what I call the joining bar. When you join a round together, it creates this bar type stitch. So that's really not a stitch. So you're going to chain one, you're going to skip this joining bar and you want to come over here in the top of that beginning chain three where we started, insert your hook and then slip stitch through that chain and through the loop on your hook. So now we are done with our dishcloth so I'm just going to fasten off my yarn and again I like to leave that little bit longer length. I chain two, pull my hook up, yarn out, grab, pinch, pull down and it creates a secure knot. So I'm going to go ahead and weave in all my ends and I'll be back and I'll show you the finished dishcloth. So our dishcloth is finished. This is what the final dishcloth looks like. So I wanted to remind everybody with the holidays coming up, this would be really pretty if you use Christmas colors or if you're making them as gifts, find out the colors of the kitchen of the person you're going to make the dishcloths for. So it's really nice when you make, you know, maybe two, three, even four dishcloths, put a little bottle of dish detergent in a gift bag with a little tissue paper and it just makes a wonderful gift for family, friends, co-workers and even yourself. This is the blue one that I made. 
so you can see all these beautiful colorways and then this one was the pink one so thank you everybody for stopping by today i hope you enjoyed this video please make sure you hit the like button please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the crochet fun here at creative grandma's channel so until next time happy crocheting everyone